So right off the back, I'm going to be 100% honest and say it. It was a good chapter, but it wasn't what we wanted. You know, it really was not what we wanted. And man, fuck Kuroshi, bro. Fuck Kuroshi and his kids, boy. Why the fuck did you have to ruin what we had going, bro? What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Anime Devil Hunt. And I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Today, I'll be reviewing chapter 179 of Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to review last chapter of was on spring break was chilling with my family but you know i'm back this week and that's all that matters and it was a phenomenal chapter i really enjoyed it um for all the chapters that i dropped this week man Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely up there considering you know we had a really great action-packed chapter of koroshi found a way to bring his ass back in here he couldn't just be a man and take a l he had to find a way to you know try to get some type of revenge or nope Let's be honest, nobody wanted him here, okay? We all wanted to see that three-way domain expansion. We all wanted to see what Yuta's domain expansion looked like. We all wanted to see what the two other sorcerers, Ryu and Uro's domains looked like. But unfortunately, Koroshi just had to put his head in and fuck everything up. But anyways, man, we are about to get straight into this chapter review. But before we do, if you are new to Anime Devil Hunter, welcome. Here on this channel, we cover all sorts of dope, awesome Jujutsu Kaisen content. So um, definitely subscribe and join the channel. Comment down below what you guys thought the chapter was or not. You enjoyed it. What are you looking forward to next? Let me know how you guys felt about the chapter and whatnot. With that being said, let us begin. So we get the words that as the fight reaches its limit, the three release their secret techniques all at once. The decisive battle between Sunday Colony's elite enters its climax. So we're at the end. We get the narrator um, narrating. <laughs> when domains collide, their respective must-hit techniques will cancel one another out. Essentially, it's like a negative plus a positive. To keep Okatsu from getting an advantage here, they cannot let Rika enter the barrier. Because, you know, when Rika gets in, it's over. So, Uro and Ishiguro's interests are aligned. Uro thinks to herself, even if someone enters the barrier later, Ishiguro thinks, I don't want to waste my time. We're going to settle this sweetly. And we see, you know, a domain circle. Shit looks kind of dope. Looks low-key like a Rasengan. <laughs> and we see Rika watching from afar. We get the narrator narrating saying, Previously, Rika had been thrown 20 meters away by Ishiguro's attack, so Ishiguro took precautions to make sure Rika doesn't get involved. Meaning, there was no need for any scheme since it was impossible for her to catch up with the barrier. But the will bequeathed to Rika by Orimo to Rika simply couldn't allow that. And you know, Rika, she, bro, there ain't no way in hell she let her baby, you know, get in her domain and she, she not about to help, you know. So Rika immediately gets pissed and says give Yuta back as she opens her eye and as you guys know by volume 0 once Rika opens that eye she's serious like she's ready to go all out. It's almost like Nine Tails Kurama. <laughs> so we get the narrator saying Rika's power output has reached a new level in that moment and out of nowhere we see Kuroshi come back. At the time I thought it was Kuroshi that came back but I'm like Yuta killed him he got the 5 points. The only way he's getting the 5 points if is the sorcerer is dead. I'm pretty sure the Koganes don't make any mistakes, right? So, um, apparently it wasn't Kuroshi, it was actually his offspring. But, bro, he just had to come and fuck everything up. So, Kuroshi's offspring comes out of nowhere and says, I love the taste of iron. And Yuta, Ishiguro, and Uro, they're all shot. They're like, bro, I thought this nigga was dead. The narrative says, the black demon of the modern era dances in the barrier. As Kuroshi runs, Rika immediately... Kuroshi's offspring, Kuroshi Jr. We're gonna call him Kuroshi Jr. Rika immediately splashes Kuroshi on the wall. The narrator says, outside the barrier, strafing cockroaches are keeping Rika's attention. So it's many of them. I, I wonder if they are strong as Kuroshi though. Anyways, the narrator says, before going dormant, Kuroshi managed to reproduce via parthenogenesis. When the parent died, the cursed energy from the entirety of Japan's fear was transferred into the body of his children. Even if the player Kuroshi has died, the cursed spirit Kuroshi continues to thrive. So Kuroshi is almost like a fucking a virus. Fucking cockroach, you know. This is what cockroaches do. You can stop on them, but they still might come out alive, you know. So the narrator says, what's even more complex than a two-way domain expansion is a three-way domain duel. Because of the differences between the internal and external conditions for building their barriers. And the influence of unexpected intruders, the barrier collapse. So no more domain. So it's, we about to get an all-out fucking Royal Rumble. <laughs> now let me stop. It's a fatal four-way. Fatal four-way. Elimination chamber. <laughs> Where my WWE fans at? Daenerys says, when Uro turned her intention to Kuroshi, a tricky opponent for her, and they escaped Okatsu's notice. So, as soon as she turned to Kuroshi, Yuta immediately capitalized and set her flying down with a kick. At the same time, she manages to land and she tries to go after Kuroshi. But, in the middle of this... Rise of the domain expansion, we've come to find out that techniques will burn out and become harder to use. So, 
they're basically drained out. At the same time, she can't use her uh, atmosphere technique. And that's when Koroshi Jr. capitalizes and strikes Uro. And at the same time, Rika comes in and just bites through everything <laughs> and ends up biting Uro's arm off. And this shit is just getting like this shit is getting, getting crazy now. Ishiguro is thinking to himself, you sure do things thoroughly, Okasu, even if Uro can use reverse curse technique. Recovering a missing limb is no easy trick. So now Uro is apparently handicapped. Uro then screams, how dare you take my arm, Fujiwara. Ishiguro then says, that's enough, Uro. Then we find out that Ishiguro's technique is curse energy release. Ishiguro then says to Uro, you haven't been invited to the meal. He then does Grand Knight Blast and bro, he smokes, bro, he hits her with a fucking spirit gun, bro. And she takes that shit head on, bro. And I think... Cool, Roshi gets hit with it too. I think they both get hit with it. And Yuta's just watching from afar like, oh shit, like, bro, damn. We then get the words, Ishiguro is the only sorcerer who has the same attack output, whether he is using a curse technique or not. So Ishiguro is a bit broken, you feel me? So at this point, Kuroshi is pretty fucked up. Um, Yuta goes on ahead, he, he takes out Kuroshi Jr. So he apparently killed the parent and the offspring. And... Yuta slowly walks up to Ishiguri and Ishiguri thinks to himself come the table is set. We then get the final panel with Ishiguri apparently sending a gunshot. <laughs> you know um, Yusuke's signature uh, spirit gun like th um, that's what Ishiguri does. And we then see a whole a a table full of you know good food and whatnot. We got cupcakes, uh, pie, tea. This shit is just crazy. On the bottom panel we have Yuta saying let's go Rika. You know the same pose he did with uh Rika during the Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero movie, and we then get the words that Okosu's technique has not yet recovered. So apparently, you know, this is it. Uh, I think in the next two, definitely the next two chapters, like this is gonna wrap up. Um, unfortunately, Oro's gone. Um, she was she was cool. I, I wish like we just dove a bit more into her, like what exactly makes her hate the Fujiwara so much. Um, I saw people point out that Yuta isn't really Fujiwara, but you know, cause like in the um Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero movie, we find out that um, Yuta is like he's from like a uh, Gota Jujutsu um family, right? But uh, Uro keeps calling him Fujiwara. So I don't know what's going on with that. I hope you know we find out more about that. Probably who knows? We'll find out more with Yuta versus Kenjaku, cause we're definitely gonna get that. But yeah, we're at the end of the battle. Um, I think Yuta's gonna definitely win this one, but. I don't think he's gonna come out a uh, hundred percent out this. You know, he's already. You know, he's not a hundred. He's not pretty fucked up, but you know, he's taking some damage. I think Ishiguro is gonna go out with a bang. But hey, man, I'm really excited to see what happens next. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think of the chapter in the comment section. Uh, comment down below what fight do you guys think we're gonna get next. Are we gonna get some Hakari action versus? I, I think his name was Hashimi Hime. You guys remember the sorcerer with the lightning that was supposedly Sukuna's rival. That's what many of us think he is. But yeah, or maybe we might get some Maki action, some Panda action, who knows, but I'm excited. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Hit the subscribe button for more awesome YouTube content. It is your boy, Anime Devil Hunter, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Have an awesome day.